Yeah, we're all good. Kia ora guys, so today is a little bit different in what we are doing. We're actually going through a tattoo. So I got uh, my mate over from New Zealand. So we've got Cohen who you guys all ask with, with my tattoo. And then we've got Dan who is doing a quite a meaningful uh, tattoo on me today. Um, like Maldi style and things like that. So I thought I'd bring you guys along uh, and yeah, show you a little bit into it. So we'll start to get into it, eh? So pretty much we just started doing the rough outline to figure out exactly the shape that we want and now we're going to be going into tracing over a little bit more detail. I'm the sharpest of shooters, get low. I'm usually solo by roll. Well, you can roll. So quick off, that's the outline of what we're looking at. And like I said, pretty much now is when we get into photos and stuff and this is when the whole meaning of the kodus uh, from what I've told Dan and I'll tell you guys at the end what it all kind of means to me but this is when we get into the fun of it so what were you saying about four hours depending how well you said so probably, yeah, probably, <laughs> probably a bit longer <laughs> So guys, we just got finished. Uh, it was about four, four and a half, five hours. Uh, it was definitely my most painful tattoo that I've ever had done. Um, this one went zero to 100, like pain just straight away. Where at the times that I've done it with Cohen, like they'd be eight hour sessions and maybe the last two hours, it would get quite painful, but this one was it straight away. But it's done and it is beautiful. Cohen's gonna film on the camera, he's gonna take over his cameraman, and then I'm gonna sit down with Dan and uh, we're gonna just kind of just go over the meaning of the tattoo, uh, talk about the kodus and stuff, and also what it means uh, to me. So this guys, so we're fully finished now. Uh, this is Dan, uh, the bow who did this masterpiece on me. So I thought we'd just kind of sit down right towards the end and just do a like, kind of like a rough overline of kind of what I got and the meaning of it to me. So I'm gonna let it take over to the pro uh, and just feel free to say whatever you want to say about it, man. Sweet, sweet. So this PC is based off his own personal story, uh, which is telling his own journey in life. Uh, hence why we've put it around here, shaping his ribs, uh, coming up towards his heart. Uh, most of these designs on here are all based off uh, certain designs that help represent one's journey uh, uh, within life. All of these designs, the little intricate designs, help enhance and tell that story of his journey from New Zealand to England and abroad, yeah. And that's that's pretty much it guys. So what I'll do also is I'll put um, all Dan's info in the description box down below. So, cause he's based out of New Zealand. Um, so if there's any like, you know, fellas and stuff in New Zealand who are wanting to get, you know, some uh, traditional like Maori uh, tattoos and stuff. Anything else that you'd want to say, maybe advice or anything to people who are wanting to they, you know, the whole Maori style and stuff, because obviously it is yeah, very yeah. meaningful, things like that. Uh, I guess what I'd say is, do your research, um, look for an appropriate artist who's well trained, um, find someone whose style that appeals to you. Uh, but the main thing is do your research on any tattoo, any moko, kiri to you get. Research your artist, 
so that you're comfortable with what you're receiving. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so kind of like also what we were talking about is this isn't something you would just go to any artist uh, to do. Um, and that's why, you know, the man's saying, do your research. So I strongly recommend that to you guys. And any of you guys who are looking at getting tattoos, you know, don't get them just because they're cool or something like that. Make sure it's something that you want to get. Um, and don't feel also the need to get one as well. I get a lot of messages from you guys, um, you know, even asking for my own pictures so you guys can get the same things. Like, do you do stuff, stuff that's, uh, guys, my words are not even coming out because this is just, killed me uh, but pretty much what I'm trying to say is do you and just yeah I'm gonna check in with you guys later I'm, I'm wrapped but thank you so much bro really do appreciate it uh, and I'll check you guys in a little bit the light was weird so you do use it <laughs> <laughs> and there we have it guys done and dusted this is my first time seeing the light in like six hours or so it was awesome seeing the boys as well uh, Conan and Dan and you know Cohen's been tattooing me for the longest time. Uh, that's how originally him and I became like uh, mates and stuff. And then also with Dan. So it's pretty wicked to be able to get like tattooed really good quality by your mates as well. But anyway, this is where I was. Boom, in Lancaster, which means I have to trek back to London, which is about two and a half hours. So I'm not gonna show you or bore you guys with that. So. Hope you guys enjoyed this little video, a little bit different. So again, keep dressing well, and I'll see you fellas next time. Peace.